First tonight at 6, a former South Carolina sheriff's federal trial is coming to a close after a Queen City News investigation led to his arrest. Good evening at 6, I'm Brian Blakely. Good evening to you, I'm Alicia Barnes. With day 3 of Marlboro County's Charles Lemon's trial just wrapped up in Florence. Now Lemon was at the center of her lost trust investigation. Video shows the then sheriff ordered then deputy Andrew Cook to use a taser to shock an inmate several times inside the county jail in May of 2020. Someone inside the sheriff's office later destroyed that body cam evidence, but our chief investigator reporter Jody Barr obtained the recording. Now, Cook took the stand earlier this week in the first day of Lemon's trial after pleading guilty for his role in the incident. And Jody has been following this investigation and trial very closely, joining us live here in Florence. And Jody, you have breaking news on this case right now. What can you tell us? Well, Alicia, about 90 minutes ago, the prosecution, the federal government rested its case against Charles Bernard Lemon. Now it's Lemon's defense team's turn to convince this federal jury that he is innocent, not guilty of the charges against him. But the man who got all this started and the man at the center of our lost trust investigation took the stand today. Trevor Murphy, who led Marlboro County Sheriff Charles Lemon's investigative unit, showed up as a prosecution witness this morning. And then when somebody violates that or violates you, report it. If nobody listens at the sheriff's office, go to SLED. If nobody listens at SLED, go to the FBI. If nobody listens at the FBI, go to Jody Parr. So find somebody that'll listen and, and once they do, um, you know, let the Lord handle the risk. Now we, went, we met with Murphy during our final disrespects investigation in Marlboro County back in late 2021. Murphy went on the record with us, providing us a document titled Lemon Laws, a booklet that he said detailed multiple civil rights violations committed by his then boss, Sheriff Charles Lemon. Murphy also provided us and SLED with a copy of that booklet and the jailhouse tasing video from May 2020, a video that led to the indictments of Charles Lemon and former deputy Andrew Cook. Prosecutors questioned Murphy about the press release he sent out in May of 2020 about the jailhouse tasing and how the sheriff's office painted that incident. The subject line of that email read, man accused of assaulting Sheriff Lemon. The press release continued that Jarrell Johnson was putting the safety of those at the jail at risk and that Johnson attempted to flee from his jail cell. And after the assault, Sheriff Lemon is fine and in good health. Murphy testified he discussed his press release with Lemon before he sent it to reporters and Lemon approved it. The, in the indication here is the sheriff's version of what happened did not tell the full story. Prosecutors also called a SLED expert who analyzed both Lemon and Cook's tasers from the jailhouse use of force case. Lemon's taser showed he never fired his taser, but data shows Lemon turned it on and off six times during that tasing incident. Deputy Cook's data showed six trigger pulls and he shot Jarrell Johnson a total of 29 seconds during that encounter. Now, Jody, with the prosecution resting its case today, we understand the defense is asking the judge to do something that could end this case actually tomorrow. They did late this afternoon. Lemon's side filed a motion for acquittal. They're asking this federal judge to find that the prosecution failed to uh, uh, prove any of the elements of the charges against Charles Lemon. Now, if the judge grants that acquittal, Lemon walks free here tomorrow. But if the judge denies the motion, the case then goes to the jury, as all cases do when the defense wraps up its case here, which is uh, expected. They expect to rest tomorrow, but still, from the timeline both sides discussed with the judge today, it doesn't look like the jury will get this case until sometime early next week. All right, looks like it's going to be a big day tomorrow. Jody Barr reporting live in Florence, South Carolina. Thank you for that.